Yeah. Good evening, good evening to all that are watching us. We are in Ibex Hill uh, at the residence of the former president, Zambia's sixth president, uh, Dr. Edgar Chagualungu. There have been developments this evening that um, we needed to speak to. Um, I have come here, I have seen the former president, and I thought I could speak to the issues that have developed this evening. Last time we were here, there was a police raid. There was an attempt for the police to conduct a search at the premises of the former president, who is protected by law, who is protected by Article 98 of the Constitution. The Constitution protects him from criminal proceedings and criminal pro, uh, prosecution. That's what Article 98 uh, uh, pledges. The police were here claiming that they wanted to do a search against the former first lady. And we discussed this matter, how impractical that matter was. This evening, there were various developments. There was a statement, a police official statement, to state that all officers, I need to emphasize, this, the message said all officers have to be withdrawn, have been withdrawn from the residence of the former president. The former president is regulated by, like I said, by the constitution and by the former president's benefits act of 1993. The president is entitled to 24 hour security. So when we saw that message, we were all alarmed. You are aware, uh, especially of the happenings that occurred last week. The minister of home affairs has issued a statement to Dam on TV where he insists that uh, the former president still has security. Uh, the police spokesperson says the seven officers that have been uh, withdrawn, have been withdrawn for redeployment. Our position is very, very simple as a party. This is coordinated harassment against the former president. Like they attempted to raid the residence. These officers they want to remove from here. The, uh, the officers that came here accused these police officers of siding with the president because they thought because they are police officers here they would just open the doors and the gates illegally the officers that were here were very professional they said they needed to inform the president and they couldn't allow access to cid officers from uh, uh, lusaka police headquarters that came and we know that there were threats against these police officers that they'll be removed and redeployed and this is what we have seen today with that message there are sessions going around that uh, under the former president's benefits act, the president is only entitled to three police officers now. These are matters we'll discuss later. What we can confirm is that this is a, a coordinated attack on the former president. And why withdraw police officers without coming to discuss with the owner of the office? Former President Ed Galung, if there is any courtesies, the secretary to cabinet should come here, he's the one that regulates and runs this office, should come and inform the president of these changes that they wish to undertake. And I must emphasize that you just can't bring anyone in the personal space of the president. You can't get an ADC for the president, he chooses. You can't get his driver. The president has a say, even if you wish to make those changes. So what occurred here, uh, again, is um, uh, uh, the same coordinated harassment we are talking about the former president. And again, it's coming from the top. Because the man at the top keeps on saying, no, I will not allow him. I will not allow him. And we've seen a series of events against the former president. To our party members, I have seen the president and the, uh, and the former first lady. They are well. Of course, they are apprehensive about these developments. But our core as a party is to the secretary to cabinet to come here and announce to the president these changes that they wish to, to effect. We shouldn't learn them about them in the press. To colleagues, the young people here have taken it upon themselves to come and replace the police officers. Mm -hmm. And they are here. Now there's some Kupela support, now there's some Kupela security. Sanya. Because everyone was alarmed that uh, the police have been withdrawn. And even the withdrawal, we insist, um, the 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 secretary to cabinet may even need to come with the IG and come and see the former president and discuss these matters. 
the entitlement to the president are constitutional. They are not doing him a favor. These are constitutional entitlement. You have to have served as president to enjoy the benefits that he's enjoying. So they are not doing him a favor. These are constitutional entitlements. The pensions and benefits provided again are constitutional and by law. So they are not doing anyone a favor. But the courtesy requires that they come here and discuss with the president. So let's continue to pray for uh, the Zambia's sixth president and his family. Let's continue to pray for their well-being. And we hope, you know, that the Lord keeps them. The biggest security comes from God, eh? yes. not Kuantu. So the Somwine, Ewalaba Sungale, Somwine is the one that keeps their life. So with those few words, thank you very much from um, uh, uh, the residents of the former president uh, to rush here just to understand what is happening and to confirm these assertions. So the, just again to reiterate before I go, there is official message from the police. You read it. It says, oh, police officers, all police officers from the former president's residence have been withdrawn. That's what the police message. Mm. Or, yes, thank you very much. Much of youth body were active. Well, I'm my instructions. I'm going to say, I'm going to take away. So, thank you very much. I'm going So, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, yes. In fact, um, we want to send also a message to our fellow youths that um, I think our duty is very clear. We've got a duty to safeguard the party, the Patriotic Front Party and uh, including our, our sixth Republican president. So the message to my fellow youths is that uh, let's uh, mobilize ourselves tomorrow and come and say yeah. good morning to our, fe- to our yeah. former president so that uh, he understands that he, he has his young uh, youths that uh, he had empowered and uh, they are strong to protect him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you very much. So like I was stating, the reason we are here it's very simple. There were these very sad developments against the president's office. And we thought we could come and find out what it was. And this continues a pattern, a clear pattern of harassment against the former president. The, there are many people saying, no, leave the president out of politics. Whichever policy that have actually them by their message, it is their action. They are the ones that wrote that letter. And they've said, oh, police officers. The minister says, no, no, the president has security. Dan, Dan, Danny Mwale, who's police spokesperson, says, no, we are just withdrawing some police officers for redeployment. So which one is it? The official message says, says oh, police officers, and the two conflicting statements. So uh, good night and God bless you. Mm-hmm. Thank you for mm-hmm. coming and stay strong. Thank you. Emu di pa. Yeah, yeah. Mm.